And we're going back to 1987 now for a look at Madonna's big film from that year, Who's That Girl? Nikki Finn just spent four years in the slammer for a crime she didn't commit. Nicole Finn. That's me. Parole granted. Now that she's free, she's going to save her reputation. Are you free now? Yeah, you're free. Good. <coughs> Be nice. Tax attorney Loudon Trot is about to marry the boss's daughter. And he has every little thing under control. Wendy, I'll be with you. Darling, don't forget, 11.10, you're being fitted for your tuxedo, and you're meeting us at 12.30 for lunch. Got it. I'm on top of it here. Well, uh, thanks for calling, Milton. He even has time to do a small favor for his future father-in-law. A woman named Nikki Finn is being paroled from Rockford Correctional this afternoon. They're sending her home to Philadelphia. I want you to drive her to the bus station. Oh, dear Lord. But when Loudon meets Nikki, his ordered word begins to crumble, and a trip to the bus station becomes the ride of a lifetime. Hey, a wall! Are you on your way? In this fence, nobody scratches. Who are you? I liked her dual personality, her tough side and her sweet side. And that's kind of what the movie's about <laughs> sweetness and toughness. Thank you. Get and obviously, when there is a toughness, it's only a mask for the vulner vulnerability that she feels. Do you say you help me? Help you what? Clear my name. Clear your name? That's what this is all about? Clearing your name? Yeah. Why don't you just go steal one? Come on, just help me out and I'll be on the next bus, I swear to God, Trot. Don't send me back to Philly, a murderess. He's never met anyone like this woman and he is actually having sort of a good time. I mean, he's, he has this sort of fascination, maybe a repellent one, but he's just, he's amazed at just how horrible everything is getting. And, and sometimes he, he just laughs, you know? I'm obviously chasing him, and he doesn't want to have anything to do with me. He's frightened of me. But he likes me, too. It's, you know, it's like any other relationship. One person is the pursuer, and the other person plays hard to get. <laughs> no, I think, Trot, I think that you want to stay with me. Yeah, but you just can't admit it. You think that I would want to stay with you? I mean, that I would actually want to stay with you? Do you believe this? Lady, I'm surprised your shadow keeps you company. Along the way to clearing her name, Nikki and Loudon have all sorts of interesting encounters. Murray the Cougar stars as the rare Patagonian Felis Conkeller Cougar, which Loudon must deliver to his most important client, played by Sir John Mills. Excuse the mess. I recently lost Elwood, my housekeeper. He quit? No, no, no. I lost him. I think he's in the West Wing somewhere. Haviland Morris is Wendy undisputed Deb of the century, and Loudon's bride-to-be. Perhaps Bert Bacharach is right. Love, sweet love. Perhaps it really is the only thing this does too little of. I described it to someone recently. It's sort of like the whole family is a little bit overbred. You know, like when you, you know how if you have an Irish setter who's sort of the genes are too good, they're a little nuts. Underground rock and roller Cody Mundy of Kid Creole and the Coconuts stars with Dennis Berkeley as the bald-headed bad guys who set Nikki up. Now talk! Cartier closed in half an hour. I got to shave my head for this role. It's kind of a treat. 
I wanted to look like my hero. That's right. And uh, he told me to put uh, baby lotion on it, or what is it? So you get diaper rash. No, yeah, well, you got to put ointment on it so that it doesn't get diaper rash. Uh, infected, diaper rash, yeah, that kind of thing. I mean, in fact, if we put our heads together, it looks a lot like kabotam, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dad, you're so funny. <laughs> okay. Cut. A sense of lighthearted fun pervaded the set of Who's That Girl, and director James Foley strove to capture this spirit on screen. And what I love so much about the script is that there is just an undeniable, effortless sweetness that permeates from frame one to the end. So even though she's an ex-con, and there's a, there's a wild animal, and there's all sorts of uh, chases and guns and cops and robbers, it's all done in sort of the best kind of fantasy, sweet movie terms. Who's that?